Hey guys, it's Hunter, and welcome back to another video. Striped Ebony on a Telecaster? Yes, please. Let's take a closer look at one of the most popular guitars in the Michael Kelly lineup. This is the 1955 Custom Collection. Alright, with this guitar we have to start with the striped ebony top. In my opinion, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Now I posted it to Instagram and asked you, the community, what you thought. To my surprise, opinions were split. Half of you agreed with me that the striped ebony top is a gorgeous finish for this guitar. The rest of you thought it looked a little bit like a wood flooring sample, but damn it if it isn't a good sample. Each piece of striped ebony is different too, so each guitar is unique. The 55cc sports chrome hardware, chrome pickups, and this classy looking custom collection logo. I was a little disappointed to find some black smudges on the binding, but I guess it doesn't affect tone, so whatever. It's just unexpected to find something like that because none of the other Michael Kellys I've had on the channel have had any finish issues. In my experience, this looks to be an unfortunate exception rather than the norm. In terms of construction, the Custom Collection 55 sports a swamp ash body under the striped ebony top and a bolt-on maple neck with a 22 fret rosewood fingerboard. The guitar feels great, a proper instrument weighing in at about seven pounds. The neck is one of my favorite parts about this guitar. It's a modern C shape with a compound fingerboard radius. What that means is that it's rounder near the lower frets for comfortable rhythm playing and flatter higher up for solos. I think it's fantastic. It starts at 10 and a half inches and moves up to a 16 inch radius. Though a standard Tele 
has a 9.5 fingerboard radius, so it may take Telepurus some getting used to. This sample 55cc came to me set up great right out of the box. Low action, rock solid tuning, no issues there whatsoever. The fret edges are really well rounded, the neck is smooth, your hand just glides along it, it's fantastic. Like a lot of other Michael Kelly guitars, 55cc's tone is powered by Rockfield pickups. They're really not bad for stock pickups and do a pretty good job for rock, but they do get a little boomy for my liking. That's just my personal preference, so I guess just keep that in mind. There's a Rockfield SWC humbucker in the bridge, which has an overwound vintage -y vibe to it, and there's a Rockfield mini humbucker in the neck. The mini humbucker is really cool. It fits tone-wise somewhere between a single coil and a full-sized humbucker. It's got a little bit of chime to it, and it's not so common to find these mini humbuckers in non-Firebird models, so it's neat that it comes in the 55cc. It's just something different. All right, here's some dirty tones. some clean tones. Each knob is push-pull to coil-tap the pickups, which, in used in combination with the three-way switch, gives you eight different tonal options for ridiculous amounts of versatility. And here's what that sounds like. Okay, this is now the third, no it's the fourth. Okay, this is now the fourth Michael Kelly demo that I've done on this channel. And the reason that I've done so many is because I really like what they bring to the table. For the money, you'd be hard pressed to find much better guitars. The finish, the tonal diversity from the wiring setup and the high level of craftsmanship, it's a lot of guitar for 550. Definitely worth checking out. And it's a Telecaster with the striped ebony top. How cool is that? If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this guitar, so feel free to leave them in the comments and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to Michael Kelly for sending this guitar over and to Pad for mixing the demo track. Links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome. This is the Michael Kelly 1955 Custom Collection, and I will see you for the next video.